Howdy guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Auntie Tay, and this is... I'm Brightly. My daughter, Brightly. All right, today is Craft for the Curve day 11-ish, 9-ish, 10-ish, one of those later days. Uh, we've got like five-ish more days left of this. But basically, I'm crafting every single day for 15 days in a row to encourage you to do things with stuff you have at home that is easy and takes up some time, get some, you know excitement in your life as we are quarantined and we are encouraging people to stay home so that we can flatten that curve. So if you want to be entered into our giveaway, five other YouTubers and myself are doing this and we also have a ton of sponsors for a really awesome giveaway. All you have to do is do a project from any of our tutorials in the last 15 days and hashtag craft for the curve. You can do that on Facebook or Instagram and we will be picking our favorite one at the end of this to give away a prize package that is absolutely amazing. Um, I may be giving away a $100 Antite gift card. Um, and then other brands like Fiskars and Expressions Vinyl and We Are Memory Keepers and a, a bunch of other sponsors are giving away some really good stuff. What are we doing today? We are painting wooden Easter eggs. So Target has had these for a while and I have just been picking them up every time I go in there, not anymore, but I was picking them up forever because I wanted to chalk paint them. So I'm so excited to have time to actually sit down and paint these eggs right now. I I think I have even like two more batches somewhere, but we're gonna, we each get six, and six colors means the rainbow! The rainbow! I was trying to think for yeah, a second. Yeah, I'm like, I'm just. My name? So I <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so the you're gonna just paint, right? Go at it. Yeah. So she's just painting her eggs with our chalked up paint. I am going to use the double layered paint stain method, which is my favorite method to this use. Is really good paint. I know. I love our paint. So I'm gonna get a base coat on all of these eggs with a paint stain, meaning meaning you water down your paint and you use it as a stain. That's exactly why I got these eggs because they're wood and raw wood sucks up that paint stain super fast. They're water-based so they dry and then you can use decals on top of them or stencils um, or go in with another layer, which is what I'm gonna do. But when you use an oil stain, like if I were to stain these with oil, I'd have to wait at least like 24 hours before I could paint on top of it or do any stenciling on top of it. So it's really why I love, love, love using the chalked up paint. If you don't know, we also have the home line which comes in the four ounce size and it comes in five different colors and it's, it's just a good size to make a paint stain for pieces of furniture, which if you guys want to see me do a piece of furniture, maybe even in this series. We are supposed to get rain for like four more days. So I'm not sure if I can do a piece of furniture, but I'll try to do one if you guys want me to. So I'm gonna paint stain these bad boys while you paint. but it still dries super fast. So I'm going to make sure the bottom is dry before I put it back in the tray, but I'm gonna put it in the tray and go about painting the rest of the eggs. And so if you can see, it's very translucent. The more water you use, the more translucent it gets and the paint changes color by the time it dries. So you wanna look at it before it dries um, or after it dries to make sure it's the color that you want. And you're gonna see in a second the difference between the solid paint and the paint stain when I do the other layer. So I also just, another way to kind of do this is just make sure your brush is super wet. Let me move these eggs so you can see. It's super wet and then you just pick up a tiny bit of paint in the lid and then you go on it. And this color right here is royal and this color is so potent so I was kind of wondering how this would work as a stain um, but this color covers so amazing so I am going to add a lot of water and you'll notice when you do this paint stain technique it works it goes so far like I barely dipped it into the paint at all Okay, so 
to the next layer, I'm going to do a solid paint color on top of it. And then I'm gonna let that dry, and then I'm gonna do another layer with a corresponding glitter. So then you get kind of three different um, like depths to the egg. So you can do polka dots or stripes. I'm gonna do polka dots for this one. And then it'll just give it kind of a dimensional pattern. So when I first painted them, they looked a little light, but once they dry, they'll be pretty dark and then it'll definitely have some texture. What are you making? An avocado. It's a masterpiece. It's so cute. I like it. Are you giving it eyeballs? So now that it is completely dry, I'm going to go in with my third layer and this is completely dry after I did all the other eggs. So that was longer than it needed, but again, our paint dries super fast. And I showed you guys this on the terracotta pot, but the fine glitter that we carry on shopantitay.com holds really well on our chopped up paint. So I'm gonna go in and do like every random one glittery. So I'm just gonna repaint the circle. And then I'll show you, I'm gonna use a clean brush to get it off. But I'm just gonna go in and do just random ones. Maybe leave a little on the outside, not um, painted, so then it has kind of like a dark rim. Um, using pixie dust for this. I'm just gonna show you, then you can take a clean brush and get the fine glitter off. You can wait till it's dry completely too, so you don't accidentally smudge it, but this isn't stuck on the egg. I just don't want to get too close to the circle. But when it is completely dry and you brush over it, it'll clean up perfect on that circle. So, what a cute idea. So this is how you do cheetah print. You go around the circles that you made and you just do little tiny C's, like two C's per blob. And you typically, if you were doing it with paint, you would do it with darker color paint so you do like a brown for the blobs and then the black for the C's but the outsides are going to be glitter which is just gonna be a slightly different color so I'm just using the same color obviously so let's see how this looks when we hit it with some glitter oh guys look at that cheetah oh that's glitter. so cute right so cheetah's super easy once you get it down you don't want to be perfect with it because it's like a pattern. So it's gorgeous, darling. Whoopsies! <laughs> I made a mistake. I put my glitter away in my paint. Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta fix this. Yikes. Are you still painting? Yep. Okay, so this is a time consuming craft. It's really fun, right? No? Okay, <laughs> leave me hanging. Are you having fun? Yeah. She is my, gets super into it for a second and then gets over it. So I'm forcing her to finish painting at least all six eggs because she made her little avocado and was like, I'm good. So that's probably why you don't see Briley in too many videos because she's over it by like step two. Are you done? Are you like, you still have one whole egg to paint. What color are you gonna paint it? I don't know. <laughs> so our kids are all different. Landis and I can I craft for hours. All your um, I'm not all because I'm not a perfectionist. You like things to look perfect, which is great. I'm like, yes. I want it done. 